set language session 1 we are going to discuss about some introduction part on sets in this video our main aim is to study about some topics one its definition and what do you mean by cardinal number and what are the types of sets and how to represent a set these are all the four topics that we are going to discuss in this video first let's see what is the definition of set set is nothing but set is a collection of well defined objects here the word well defined should be noted very carefully because we can collect the things whatever we know but that should be well defined so what do you mean by well defined here let me show you some examples beautiful flowers is it well defined if you think sometimes you may feel that as a well defined one but it is not so because for someone some flower will be very beautiful but the same flower may not be beautiful to some other person so here beautiful flowers is not a well defined one the same way let us consider next one strong men this is also not well defined because we cannot justify a particular person as a strong or weak or let us see one more example small boys is it well defined no for a person a boy may be smaller the same boy may not be smaller to another one so here the small boys is also not well defined let us see another one example kids age less than 10 if you consider this statement it is a well defined statement because all the persons whenever we are they are comparing the students with their age everyone will say the kids less than 10 as less than 10 only that is no confusion so this is a well defined one so before we are collecting some objects into a set first of all we must be very careful whether the elements or the objects are well defined or not so set is a collection of well defined objects so here we are going to collect some objects which are all very well defined now let us see some objects this is a lily flower this is a rose flower this is a patient flower now let us see these three flowers now i want to put these three objects into a set first let me bring this lily then the rose then the patient fruit now i have collected the three objects these three objects are well defined so we can put it in a set so now it is inside a set now we are going to give some name to this set usually a set is represented by capital letters so capital letters are used to represent a set let us consider the name of the set by the name 
capital A. So this is how this set is drawn here. These three are called by the name elements or members. These three objects are called by the name members or by the name elements. Right. Now let us try to represent these three pictures with letters. The same way we are going to represent now our set A is represented like this. Rose, Lily and Pacer. The same set is going to be represented in another form. That is, set A is equal to these three objects, Lily, Rose and Pace. So, I hope now you know what do you mean by a set. Now, we are going to discuss about the next term, cardinal number. What do you mean by a cardinal number? Cardinal number is nothing but number of elements inside the set is called by the name cardinal number. So, cardinal number is nothing but number of elements in the set. Now, this cardinal number is represented by n of a. Since the set is a, it is represented by n of a. If the set's name is b, it will be n of b. Now, if we see this set, in the set a, there are three elements. So, n of a is equal to 3. Right. Now, you know the definition of set and you know what is cardinal number from this part. Now, let us move to the next one. Here, we are going to discuss about types of set. How we are discriminating the sets? As I told you, what do you mean by cardinal number? Cardinal number is nothing but number of elements inside the set. Right. The number of elements inside the set may be countable or it may be uncountable. The first one is uncountable and the second one is countable. If the number of elements is uncountable, it is called by the name infinite set. And if the number of elements is countable, it is called by the name finite set. Let us see some examples. As I told you, infinite set means that we cannot count the number of elements. Let us see an example. Set A is equal to 1, 2, 3, dot, 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 dot. It goes on. So, we cannot count it. Number of elements inside the set cannot be counted. So, its cardinal number n of a is infinite. So, n of a is equal to infinity. The same way, let us see some examples for countable sets. Let us consider a set capital A is equal to 1, 2, 3. That is no dot, dot, dot here. So, it is finite. There are only three elements inside the set. So, n of a is nothing but 3. Let us see one more example. Set A is equal to empty set. This empty set can be represented by a letter of Greek that is phi. As you know very well, there is no element inside the set. So, N of A will be equal to 0. The same time, this set, this empty set can be called with different names. It may be called by the name null set or by empty set or by the name void set. As you know very well, number of elements inside the set is 0. So, according to the cardinal numbers, we are dividing the set into two types, one as infinite, another one as finite. Right. Now, let us see how to represent a set. A set 
can be represented in three ways. The first way is tabular form. What do you mean by tabular form? That is listing all the elements of the set, separating them by commas and we have to enclose them within the curly bracket like this. This type of bracket should be used and the elements should be separated by commas. Let us consider an example. Set A is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and it goes on. So, now all the elements are inside the curly bracket and they are all separated with commas. If you represent a set in this manner, it is called by the name tabular form. Now let us see the next form that is called by the name descriptive form. What do you mean by descriptive form? Let us see the same example. We can write this with words. If we are able to represent a set by words that is called by the name descriptive form. Right. If you see this example, it is very well known. It is nothing but natural numbers. So we can write this as set of natural numbers simply. In case, if you have numbers up to 7 alone, that is 1 to 7 alone, then we can write set of natural numbers from 1 to 7 like this we can write. In this example, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 it, and it goes on. So it is nothing but set of all natural numbers. The same way we can represent a set in another one form that is called set builder form. What do you mean by set builder form? Writing in symbolic form is called by the name set builder form using less than or equal to symbol, less than symbol, greater than or equal to symbol or belongs to symbol like that. If we use the symbols then we can call it by the name set builder form. Let us see the same example of natural numbers that is it represents the set is called by the name A and it, it contains the elements X. What is this X? It is stated here. X belongs to natural number. So, this is nothing but the same 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, dot, 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 dot. It goes on. So, we can represent like this. In another way also we can represent that is the elements inside the set is called by the name x and how the x behaves it states x is greater or equal to 1 that is it may be 1, 1 1.1, 1 1.2, 1 1.3 like that it may be going on but here again it clarifies us x belongs to natural number. So starting from 1 we can give the numbers which are all natural. So that will be 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma and it goes on up to infinity. So these are all the different ways to represent a set. I hope in this video you would have seen the basic ideas, very basic ideas of set. In the forthcoming videos, let us see operations on sets and further. Thank you.